G'day and what's up everybody. Uh, today's video I'm just going to be showing you the upcoming uh, version of Zeus Complete. Uh, it'll be called uh, Preview 2.1. Uh, in this version there's only a few minor changes. Uh, one would be the fix for the GTX 500 Ti series. Uh, there's also been a small change to the watercolour. Uh, mainly, I was getting a bit tired of the over saturation of the blue in it. So I've toned it down just a little bit, as you can see here. I kind of felt like the other colour was a bit out of place. If we switch back to the other one. That's how it looked before. Obviously if you don't like this you can just replace the water files with a previous Zeus Complete version. Now this is pretty much a weather update uh, that it is to improve on the specular effects and the rain particles falling down and the rain fog. So if we go to uh, changing the weather to rain. As you can see, the rain falling down from the sky now is a lot more visible and the actual rain fog itself I've uh, toned right back. Now I've also added in uh, some texture packs that you can download from the shared folder. This one is called uh, Faithful, which has uh, specular mapping in it, as you can see. Now the improvement on this is that the specular now calculates on the side of blocks instead of just on the flat surface. So if we go back to the previous version, as you can see there was no real shine to the side of blocks just on the ground. And in this version you can also see that the rain particles are harder to see falling down and the rain fog is really quite thick compared to the new version. As you can see, you can see the rain particles falling down now and the fog is nowhere near as thick. Included with this, I have also included a few more defines. As you can see, you can choose the fog density now. And there was actually a second fog layer which I actually missed for quite some time. That was in final.fsh. Now you can actually fully disable rain fog now. But the rain fog does have some uses as to covering up a bit of the ugliness of the rain particles. But as you can see the rain fog is completely gone except for the atmospheric fog which you can also disable if you would like to. Obviously this makes the rain look a lot worse because the rain fog actually does cover up some of the ugliness of the rain. Uh, that can be fixed if you like in the weather dot fsh all you have to do is comment out the new rain and put in the old and you can have it looking like this uh, do bear in mind that this does not look very good of a night time 
as you can see. So I'd recommend really leaving the new rain on. Now the actual volumetric clouds mask a lot of the rain particles. So if you actually turn the volumetric clouds off, you can now fully see all the rain particles. And once again, if this is not to your liking, you can change it back to the old rain. And this is what you end up with. Alright, so going back to everything on again, uh, if you have a look of the night time, it is actually a lot uh, easier to see now when it's raining, as opposed to the previous versions. It was really quite hard to see anything. The amount of rain fog was far too overdone. And as you can see on the screen, you can see the uh, raindrops coming down with a new slight color to them. So, uh, looking a lot, lot better now. Uh, there has been a slight improvement to uh, the old specular as well, if you want to use that one. Alright, so this is using the old specular. Uh, as you can see, it just covers everything with a shine. There's no real height mapping to it, like with a new specular. Uh, there was a bug with this one, where everything got super bright. When going from clear uh, sorry, from rain to clear. And there was a fix for it that was in Composite 1. Uh, I've actually now pretty much annihilated that bug completely. Uh, it's still there a little bit, but mostly all gone. So depending on what you would prefer to use, it's the options are there for you. Uh, do bear in mind that the old specular doesn't have any reflections on metallic objects like gold, as you can see there. Going back to a new one. Yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to show. Uh, this new preview 2.1 should be out within the next few days. 
and then hopefully after that we'll be releasing preview 3 with PBR reflections that Joey and Death Raid are currently still working on it's not ready for release as there's still quite a few bugs to be ironed out but yeah this new PBR will be replacing the specular calculations that we have at the at the moment um, also bear in mind with the uh, two types of specular the old specular does take a few more frames off roughly about three to five frames extra as opposed to the new uh, also in the shared folder um, there would be these texture packs texture packs here um, now conquest does not have specular in it but if you actually put faithful in behind it it will actually borrow the speculars from that one and you actually get them in conquest Now I've uh, put them in the shared folder because I've got no idea where I actually got them from. I've had them lying around for quite some time. And as you can see the specular comes through. Now if you want to use the Ovo Rustic one, you have to remove any other texture pack you have in there because it will break the parallax occlusional mapping. Now if you're using this one, I also have to point out that the specular reflections are not showing through as bright as they were in Faithful. Uh, you will have to come into terrain.fsh and you'll need to change the specular brightness. I've left here a few notes, so if you're using Over Rustic or Chroma Hills, you want to change this from 1.0 to 0 0.7. And in doing that, you'll end up with much brighter and visibly noticeable specular also let me know what you think of the new watercolor if you much prefer uh, this new color for the water Or if you still prefer this water, just let us know. Because uh, depending on what the overall opinion is, will be uh, in future releases. So, yeah, that's the old one. And this is the new water. And hopefully in an uh, upcoming version we'll actually have water refraction when looking through the water up top like this. And also have a depth calculation. So the further down the water goes, the darker it becomes. So yeah, thanks all for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.